and welcome to the first Total Access of 2024 with myself, Scott Framer, and of course, Greg Blair, former bullet Greg Blair. We can say that now, yeah. which is a wee shame, but <laughs> we are all in on the bandits in 2024. We're here at the press and practice uh, evening. The boys have been out on track, Greg. We won't dwell on this too much because we'll catch up with Daniel Hume, Louis Kerr, and team manager Stuart, K- uh, Stuart Dixon throughout the show. Um, just briefly on the press and practice, the boys looked... Uh, Rory maybe admittedly said to me uh, that he's still trying to kind of blow those cobwebs off. He's not been racing a lot, but you had guys like Le- the Louis Kerr, Freddie Hodder, who have had a lot of bike time. You've seen the difference in some of those guys as well, didn't you? Absolutely, Scott. That's the thing. You know, you see riders like Rory, and he will not be bothered with me saying this at all. A little bit later on in the years, you know, he knows what he's doing, but at the yep. same time, the body, it does take a little bit longer to, to get going. But riders like Freddie Hodder, he's been in Poland this week and he's been doing a lot of practice. He's a young lad, he's got so much potential about him and he's eager to get on. And I think that Freddie being one of the signings for Berwick this year is going to be, you know, really good to watch. He's my one to watch for Berwick this year, certainly. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Ironic for anybody that didn't listen to the podcast that we did at the end of last season, we did uh, an away rider of the year, surprise away rider of the year. My two packs in there, do you remember from my championship in National League ones? I th- two? think one of them was Freddie Hodder and was the other one Bastion. Bastion Bot- yes, yes. yes. So I can spot a rider. If there's one thing about Scott Frey, we can spot a rider. <laughs> uh, I think we'll start uh, by going to the t- team manager who will reflect on tonight's press and practice and again look, afo- uh, look forward to next week's Border Trophy Clash against Workington. Uh, Stuart. Another press in practice, your first with the club and the books. Uh, the boys looked really good out there. A um, few mechanical issues here and there, but that's to be expected with the guys kind of breaking in some of the machinery and kind of getting used to the, the track as well. Yep, I uh, spoke to them all and uh, collectively, individually, everybody seemed to enjoy the track. It was good. I think it's a uh, slightly different material. We've got on a track tonight, same as what Oxford use, but um, everybody seemed well happy with it. As you say, there's one or two teething problems. You get that when you're new bikes, you know, engines, chains, stretch and stuff. But all in all, they all got plenty of laps in, which was important. Um, everybody looks good when they're out on their own, but the real test will come next Saturday, first match of the season against Workington. Absolutely, and I'm glad you've moved on to that there. Um, we do move on next week, and it is important over the recent kind of past. Uh, we've not had that challenge match at the start of the season. Obviously, we see tonight, look, Rory's not had any meetings, but Louis obviously started the season. Freddie's been racing all over Europe, getting practice time in. So the guys are all, all at different kind of um, levels of bike bike reddish, bike sharpness. Um, so the challenge matches are very important next week going into the BSN series. Definitely, Scott. More so than anything, the fact that we've got five new riders. Yep. That's that, you know, we must... That, I'm very pleased we managed to get the practice on tonight, but two matches next week, the Border Trophy, home and away. I think more so than any season ever with the new faces we've got. And as you say, some riders have been on the bike, some haven't. They're all different schedules at this time of year. Very important that we get the two challenge matches. Uh, we'll not be treating them as challenge matches. There's a trophy up for grabs. We want to win that, that's for sure. But um, I think that'll keep us in good stead for when the BSN trophy starts the following week, yeah. Absolutely. And we've seen tonight, uh, Freddie has romped up next to Rory and the pits. Obviously, Rory, captain, was here last year. How invaluable was his input, not just for for Freddie as being the youngster in the team, but for the, the all the new guys in the team? He's going to be very important. That's the reason why he's bes- Freddie's beside Rory. I uh, I said to Scott Courtney that I lined out the riders where I wanted them to be in the pits. They've not just rocked up and just took whatever bay they wanted. This, this was done on purpose so that the riders are, are where I want them to be. It's important that uh, Freddie is close to, to Rory, as you say, for the experience. Uh, we've got, obviously... Other parents match together without giving too much away, and uh, that was a general th- sense of thinking behind that was to to to, to get a bit of experience and a bit of youth all, all mixed in together. But to, if you're winning, it'll be a happy camp anyway. Absolutely, and just I know you're a bit of a thinker when it comes to that, and obviously we've done that over the last couple of years as well when we've looked at the the kind of the riding order. So you're obviously thinking about that. A wee bit more now that we've seen, we've had the practice, and you've seen perhaps the chemistry that's going on within the side as well. Yep, I had a rough idea, roughly what I was going to go for. Um, I now know exactly what I'm going to go for 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 next Saturday for sure. It's no set in stone; it can be changed. I am one of those team managers who who does change riding orders for away meetings based on riders' performance. You know, previously at the track, you know, in recent seasons. So it's something I do take into account. But I've now got a firm idea rather than a fair idea of what one to seven will line up for. Next Saturday, yeah, absolutely, and as a as a big test, I mean, 
working to pretty much a blank slate for for both sides because I think uh, Sam McGarp's probably the only rider that's raced it at any sort of consistent basis. Uh, so that's a bit of a blank slate for everybody. But if they come here next week, first meeting of the season, where well, they're all kind of they all know this track anyway. So again, it's a test with guys like Troy Batchelor, Craig Cook, and as announced as we were having press and practice, Klaus Fissen stepped into the working to the side as well. All riders that know this place inside out. Yeah, it's going to be two tough meetings, uh, certainly with the, the announcement of Klaus Vissing tonight. Uh, Ex-Bandit, you know, mm-hmm. good rider, um, very good rider round here. Uh, this track suits some of the bank and certainly this bend. You know, they, they've got some decent riders, uh, we've got some decent riders. It should be interesting, it's that stage of the season, it's tangible. You're, you're sitting there saying, I don't know what we're yeah, going to get here. Absolutely. I don't know what we're going to get for our riders either. I'm very happy with the seven we've got. I think Workington will now feel in a better place tonight after securing the signature of Klaus. Um, should be interesting too. You know, I think it should be two close meetings and uh, the Border Trophy is certainly up for grabs. They'll fancy it just as much as we do, yeah? Absolutely. Well, we'll catch up with you next week as well, Stuart. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Stuart braving the cold with me uh, on that one there, uh, Greg. Uh, it's nice to hear uh, Stuart obviously so positive as well. He seems to have settled down pretty quickly. He's got the banter flowing amongst the guys and um, he's ingratiated himself into the club already. That's the thing with Stuart, he's like a no mess, n- mess around kind of guy. That's what he does, this is his thing, and uh, he knows what he's talking about, and you know, Stuart wants to win. Exactly, and by wanting to win, he's brought in a new number one to the club, Louis Kerr. We're going to hear from Louis now. Uh, welcome, new number one. And Bandit, obviously we spoke to you during the winter uh, when we, the, the signing was announced, Louis. Uh, you've had your, your press and practice. What, what was your thoughts on the, on the track and the setup with the guys and stuff like that as well? I thought the track was great. Um, smooth. Um, made a lovely little dirt line as well. So, yeah, no, really impressed. Hopefully it'll be like this next week. So I'm pretty much like a, a home feel to this anyway, Louis. Obviously you've been about for a long time now. I don't want to make you feel old, but yeah. Um, but <laughs> obviously you've, your boss last year at Oxford and obviously Oxford this year again, you've, you've dealt with kind of Jamie Courtney. You know the, you know the kind of ins and outs. It must be, there must be a kind of sense of familiarity here in, in, anyway uh, before, he, before coming. Yeah, I was only saying the same thing tonight. It's um, obviously know Jamie really well now, and um, yeah, just good. To, it's good to be here. Um, seems like a fantastic club, and excited to get going. And that number one that you've got in your back as well, going into the start of the season, that'll be something that you're wanting to keep a hold of uh, during the season. I mean, how does that feel? Is it is it any different to any other number you've ridden, or is it is it added pressure to you? No, I'm, I don't find any, you know, whatever number I'm at, you know, I, I want to win it every race I'm in, so I'd like to keep it for the season, but it's going to be tough, and um, yeah, it, it's definitely a, a target that I try to set myself, but um, like I said, with Rory, and it's going to be tough, but yeah. Big test next week, um, Guy uh, Workington come here in the Border Trophy, uh, guys like Klaus Vissen, uh, uh, Troy Batchelor, Craig Cook, all go round, all, all go well round here. Obviously, there's a few kind of newer names to British Speedway on their side, but it's going to be a, a nice test for the guys home and away. And Workington's a pretty much a blank canvas for all riders, really, because nobody is rode there on any consistent basis. So you must be looking forward to getting on track with the guys next week for what will be a, a nice test for everybody. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's a nice um, couple of meetings to get into. So um, yeah, it's going to be tough. I'm looking forward to going there as well. Um, you know, I've only heard good things about the place, so um, yeah, get off to a nice win, it'd be nice. Yeah, important to get a bit of silverware at the start of the season, make, give the boys a boost for morale? Absolutely, yeah, it gives us a boost going into to the big stuff. Yeah. Well, good luck and we'll catch up with you throughout the season, I'm sure, Louis. Thank you, cheers. Nice to hear from Louis there. Uh, Louis is obviously comes into the team. I know I was joking about the age and stuff like that. He has been around a, a long time now in, uh, in British Speedway, and he's the the kind of steady number one. I know people looked at it from last year and said that he was on a team like Oxford, but the two guys that were ahead of him in the averages were Scott Nichols and Sam Masters. It's not bad company to keep. So he comes in here, and my is a proper number one for the Bandits. Yeah, he does. Uh, he's a great rider. We saw him tonight. You know. The way he was riding the bike, I stood up at the third bend at a point there, he was coming in, the bike sounded absolutely crisp, it was pitch perfect going in, and just the way that Louis's got that style on the bike, he can ride this track beautifully, and you know, when uh, when Louis makes the gate like round a place like this, he's going to be a hard man to catch. Absolutely, absolutely. And we also caught up with new bandit, Daniel Hume. Daniel, cold, cold press night, of course, but how did you enjoy that? Oh mate, it was fantastic, it's nice to get back on the bike and 
yeah, I'm just glad I'm here with a good uh, group of lads. And, uh, you know, they are a good group of lads. What's it like, you know, because this will be the first time that you've actually met them, is it a bit of a, you know, you'll have ridden with them in other teams and everything else like that, but is it good to get everybody together? It is. It's, uh, especially like today, like what I've, like you said, we've been together in different teams before and to get everyone here in, in one go and obviously like some new guys as well. and it, It's awesome and I love the atmosphere we're, we've created already. Obviously, I spoke to you during the winter. You're a pretty bubbly, bubbly guy and stuff as well. How is the kind of chemistry between all the boys? As uh, Greg says, you probably know one another if you're going about the tracks, but now you're in the WhatsApp group and you're all having the banter together. How is it? It's fantastic. It's a, it's good to, like, it's good, like, especially the way the pits have been formed this year. Um, it's just, I tell you, the atmosphere is awesome all the way through. Um, sometimes you get to certain tracks and there might be people at the other end of like the quiet bunch, but the way it's been formed this year, it's, it should be good all the way through. And the team looks good. I mean, you were in a, a you know, both teams last year that you were in, very, very strong. Um, what's your feel on uh, on the Bandits for uh, 2024? Well, I was just speaking to Stuart a minute ago. I said to him, like, I think we've got strength all the way through, like one one to seven. Like, we're always going to have a strong reserve. And um, I think Freddie, well, he looked awesome out here today. So I think we look strong. Um, I don't want to jinx it, but... Yeah, it's for me. It's probably the strongest one of the strongest teams in the league. That's it. It's like you know, it's a it's a fresh look bandits, and uh, you know, it's great to hear that these guys, after one night, have sort of like gelled. Exactly. Yeah, and that, that's a massive part in speedo because you see it a lot, like the sport being almost individuals just riding for a team. But this year, we've got like a team, and it feels like we've got a team. Um, and obviously, Rory with his experience and. Um, he can team out of anyone. He can slow a race down. He can speed it up, and that's the sort of person you need to to lead the team. Um, and obviously, with Louis and stuff, he's just class. So, for me, I'm I'm still learning. Um, but it's just nice to have people like that in the team. Absolutely. And we we'll look ahead to to next week for yourself. I know you've not been on track. I know this is good pressing practice, blow the cobwebs off. How important is it to get to tapes next week? Three other guys beside you, full revs. Oh, that's going to be good. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting that buzz back because it's been a long time. But at the same time, I'm glad we managed to get here today and the press day on and the weather stayed good because I feel confident now going into next week. But driving up here today, I was thinking, can I still like ride a bike? It's been, <laughs> it's been a long time and, yeah, blew off all the cobwebs and, yeah, I'm ready to start racing now. And, you know, you've been here, you've blown the cobwebs off. Has there been a lot of work that you've done over the winter with like yourself fitness wise and like bike setups as well? Have you done have you invested quite a bit into that? Uh, this year is probably the, the heaviest I've um like put money in into the sport. Every year we try and get like better and better. Um but this year we've thought like let's let's do it, let's do it properly. So I've invested like between me and my sponsors a, a lot of money and um hopefully it pays off this year. Absolutely. Well good luck this year and obviously good luck next week as well, Daniel. Thanks. Cheers, mate, thank you. It's nice to have da a, a character like Daniel about the place. He's, he's bubbly off the track. He's good on the track. He's just a nice guy to be around, really. That's it. You know, he's he's a, a happy-go-lucky chap. Uh, I've seen him at many meetings. You know, sometimes if the meetings aren't going that well for him, he's not, like, getting down in the dumps about it. He's like, right, let's fix this. Let's go out and get a good race in. And that's the good thing about that guy. And that's what you need in your team. You need yeah. someone who's saying, like, it's not the end of the world. It's just a game sort of thing. You know, yeah. let's just go out and enjoy it. And... Daniel Hume is, uh, is living proof of that, of someone who does go out and enjoy it. He's always got a smile on his face. Absolutely. And the two riders we haven't mentioned so far, obviously, Bastian and Drew. Drew did have some kind of mechanical issues when he was out for one of his rides. Uh, Bastian looked steady away, steady away, but we know what Bastian can do around here after his performance for Edinburgh last year. Yeah, he's one. He's another one to watch, actually. He's going to be, you know, a proper trump card for the yep. Bandits this year. He is going to be, you know, that when we, when we come to tapes uh, next week, Heat 2, I think it's going to have his name all over it. Yeah, I think it'll be battling with Freddie, if I'm being totally honest. Uh, you mentioned next week, obviously, that leads us on nicely. Uh, next week, the Bandits face the Workington Comets and the Border Trophy, the Comets back in the Championship for 2024. Really looking forward to this one. Nice way to start the season with a, a, a tough challenge match against a good team, Greg. Yeah, that's it. And hopefully a bumper crowd as well, you know. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's been a long time since, you know, the, the, the working in diehards have actually came here to watch the Bandits and the Comets go against each other. Uh, we know we've seen them in the National League last year, but uh, I do think that it's going to be a, a very uh, good meeting for 
you know, to kick the season off for, for both clubs. Absolutely, and I'm buzzing to see Workington back at this level of British Speedway as well. It's nice to have them have them back, and we look forward to seeing you all here at Shieldfield Park next Saturday night as we take on the Workington Comets. Until next week, goodbye.